What is up you guys? So today we have an Amazon jean haul. I can't think of a worse way to spend my Saturday afternoon than trying on a million pairs of jeans, but I'm doing it for you guys. So if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more. But yeah, I have never tried the jeans from Amazon and I'm typically super unimpressed with jeans. <laughs> I am mid-size, so I'm a size 12 typically. Um, 32 in the waist, 41 in the hips, just for size reference. Um, I will have the size of the jeans I purchased on the screen just so you guys can reference that if you're a similar size but these were all super affordable I did not break the bank on any of the jeans um, like these are not hundred dollar jeans or two hundred dollar jeans um, they were pretty affordable and so I wanted to give you guys my real deal honest opinion on if there are any jeans on Amazon that are worth your dollar so I hope this video helps if you guys have any questions definitely leave me a comment also check out my Amazon storefront for all of my previous hauls I have some really cute little going out dresses some workout gear swimsuits so I hope you guys enjoy and let's do this first let's get into the Levi's oh these are cute so the bottoms of these Levi's have a little bit of fraying at the bottom okay so here are the Levi's again they have the little fraying at the bottom kind of an asymmetrical cut super cute I love the bottoms of them these are really nice wow I like these a lot I am really surprised one thing I will say is they are a little big on me I think I need to go down a size in the waist but the length is perfect um, these are a 33 in the waist and like I said I'm a 32 so I would probably go down to I think they probably offer them in a 31 waist so I think 31 would look a little bit better but honestly having them a little big in the waist is sometimes a blessing because then if they're too small then you get like rolls and stuff like that so having a little bit bigger of a waist is not that big of a deal but these are just a little too big to the point where I think they're probably gonna fall down um, there is kind of a lot of room in the crotch area I don't know overall I really do like them I don't have any major complaints other than I think I got the wrong size but they look really nice on the legs I love the color of the denim I really like how high-waisted these are my belly button is like right about here so they just come a little bit above it I can pull it up on the hip so it gives me more of an hourglass shape I just overall think these are really cute um, the booty is okay nothing to run out and go get booty wise um, they don't look bad or anything they're just not the most poppin booty I've ever seen in jeans but yeah they're really comfy okay you guys I have major high hopes for these ones if there is one jean that I am obsessed with, it's wax jeans. <laughs> so you can typically find these at like TJ Maxx and stuff. They're really stretchy, but they're built so good around the waist and the booty. You gotta like really adjust them up, but once you're in them, you're good. So one sec. Hopefully you guys can see these all right. They're a little darker of a wash. These are kind of, yeah, a dark denim. Um, so these are a skinny jean, really simple and plain, but something about the way they do their distressing or like their wash, you know, it's kind of darker right here, concealing a little bit more, lighter right here, making the legs pop. Um, and same with the booty, they do the same thing on the booty. They change up the wash to make your booty pop a little bit more. So yeah, these are good. I got these in a size 13. Um, so I'm typically a size 12, so I decided to go up. Again, I do have room, but these are the type of jeans where if you get them too small, they're not going to look that great, you know? So I'm happy I got them in a size 13. I think they fit really nice. They're not going to be like rolling down or anything. They're very, very stretchy. So you have some room to grow. So if you have a little bit more meat on your legs, you're going to be fine in these. Just get your true size, or you can even size up if you're in between sizes like I said I have a little bit of room in the back but it's so elastic that it's gonna stick to you I love wax jeans because I don't ever have any like tummy issue right here these are a little bit lower than the last ones my belly button is right here right where the button is so these are pretty mid-rise they're not high-waisted by any means but I like these a lot I love wax jeans for whatever reason I might have even gotten a second pair of wax jeans I can't remember <laughs> but these are so good I just love Love their jeans they're so comfy you can bend nothing's gonna fall down they just do it so well and they're so comfy they're so affordable like I said 
You can very rarely find these at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but not all the time. But when I first discovered wax jeans, I was obsessed. So yeah, these are pretty cute. Um, can we just note how big these look? They're probably going to fit me, which is a little depressing. Um, these are a size 14 petite relaxed fit. These are by Lee, which, and these are hard denim. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I actually got the wrong length. These are petites, which I'm not petite. I'm like regular length, I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, so ignore that. Other than that, I hate these. <laughs> they are the hardest denim ever. Like when I sit down, there is no give, no stretch. They're also pushing down the booty like major, like, there is not enough room between all this going on. So it's really pulling at the booty. And when I try and walk forward, it pulls out the thighs. I hate these. So we're not, I would never recommend these to you. They're trash. <laughs> Unless you like this really hard, uncomfortable denim. Girl, these ain't it. So I'm getting on these right now before I lose my mind. <laughs> okay, next we have some distressed jeans. These are super high waist and look how long the crotch is. So I don't know about all that, but let's see. Oh my God. I just ripped my whole gel toenail off. That is crazy. It just, the whole thing came off. I still have a nail, thank God. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let me tuck my toes. Get a foot cramp doing that. Um, these are okay. I like the fit of them a lot, except for my calves. I don't know if I have like extra large calves or what, but there is no stretch to the calves, so um, I can't even like roll them up and like get down here. So don't love that, but they look really good everywhere else. Pockets are super deep. They come down all the way down to here. Um, they actually look pretty good on my stomach area, I think. I think they look pretty nice. No large tummy issues. They look pretty good on the booty as well. I thought these were gonna be super high-waisted. They're not like crazy, but they go, you know, my belly button's down here. So they go up pretty far. There is just really not a whole lot of stretch to these, so you got to make sure you're getting them true to size. I can't believe I ripped off my <laughs> gel nail polish on my toe. <laughs> what is going on? Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are pretty good. They fit my waist really nice. Like these are the best fitting jeans so far. Not a whole lot of room back there, which is great. So yeah, there's just no stretch. So if you are a little thicker you might have a hard time with these um but i think they fit me pretty well they're not the most comfortable pair of jeans i've ever worn because again my calves they're like weirdly tight on my calves but they are pretty cute i like i like the style of them i like the look i like the wash i don't love the striping right here but they're pretty cute for spring i'm not gonna lie so yeah so i have a strong suspicion Boot cut jeans are going to come back in style very, very soon. I've always loved the look of boot cut jeans on me. They elongate my legs. And so I wanted to pick some up. These are Amazon Basics. Um, so Amazon does have their own brands that are a little bit more affordable than your everyday jeans. So we got to see what these are on about. Oh, oh God, please don't feel low rise. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> So here are the jeans. Um, the wash is okay, probably not my favorite. They're kind of giving me like mom jeans. Um, they are boot cut, so you know, wear these with some pokey little booties. It would be so cute. I just don't love, <laughs> they're not high-waisted at all. I need high-waisted baby. Like if they would have came up like an inch or two more, love. But they are pretty low rise, like my belly button is right where the button is. Um, they're like everything I want in boot cut jeans, but they are just, I don't know if I like the wash of them and I don't like 
how low rise they are. But if you are into bootcut jeans and you want something a little bit more low rise, these would definitely do the job because they are really comfy. They are stretchy for sure. Um, not as stretchy around the waist, but that's probably for the best since they are low rise. Let's compress a little bit. Okay, uh, booty is nothing, nothing to stare at. It's all right. Um, I do like that they're stretchy though, so yeah, they're okay. Just a little low rise for me, like, ma'am, I'm a millennial, we only do high rise. <laughs> we only do high rise, so. Okay, friends, so we have another pair of Levi jeans. These are a boyfriend cut, super soft, um, and I got them in a waist 32 and a length 27, which that seems short, but <laughs> I guess since they are boyfriend, they're supposed to be a little bit more rolled up. Oh my God, oh God, oh God. Um, okay, so I'm in them. They're like damn near capris. They're supposed to be like loose around the ankle, you know, like very relaxed boyfriend jeans. They're tight, so they just look like regular capris on me. Um, I'm getting a little insecure about my calves after this. I'm not gonna lie, but um, the waist is like crazy big. I think that's the point of boyfriend jeans, but it's like very, very big to the point where they're not going to stay up. I'm going to have a whale tail going on if I were to wear these, like it, there's going to be problems. So yeah, don't love them. I don't know if these types of jeans are meant for my body shape. You know, I feel like these are cool on girls who are a little bit more petite and like stick straight. I just don't think these types of jeans work on me because they're supposed to have that loose, relaxed look and they really just don't, except for this back here, which ain't it. They're very low rise, my belly button is right here, so it's really making me look a lot more boxy. Don't love that. Like, do we like this? The booty is just like, she's gone. She said, Peace. Yep, my butt is non-existent. She said, hell no, I'm out of here. Yeah, these are frightening. So, we got one more pair, and they're wax jeans, so hopefully they're oh, just buttery soft. They slide up my calves. No insecurities, no issues. We love to see it. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is they've got me messed up because there are no belt buckles on these. <laughs> How am I supposed to get them up my legs when I have nails on? <laughs> like that's a whole issue. Okay, I am in them. What do we think? Love them. I love these jeans. They do them so good every time. I never feel any sort of disappointment. <laughs> they do them so well. Okay, so these are size 13. They're the light wash. Um, again, they're wax jeans. So buttery soft, like very, very soft, but I don't think they make my my fupa section look bad or anything. I think they look pretty good. I tried to tuck all the tags in. I think I will be keeping these though. The only thing I don't love is this right here. Like why did you have to stitch that so weird? But it does do a lot of compressing, so I kind of low-key love it, but I don't love the look of it. Um, these have a little bit of distressing, some minor holes, one right here that's a little bit bigger, but overall, they're not super ripped up, so I feel like they're still trendy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm living in 2019, but I really like them. They hit me right at the ankle, super perfect length. I did kind of scrunch them up right here just so they would hit me at my ankle where I like them to, but... I love these jeans. They just don't ever do me wrong. <laughs> um, they are really high-waisted, so this is for my girls who love that Tommy compression. You'll love these. Um, they fit my booty nice, not a whole lot of room. They look good on the booty as well with all of the lighter wash kind of around that area to emphasize the booty. So these are probably staying in my closet. I think they make me look super curvy, super hourglass. And they're just so dang comfy. I'm totally gonna be rocking these all spring and probably like nighttime at, in the summer. They're just too cute. Let's circle back and I'm gonna talk to you guys about which ones were my favorite jeans, the ones you gotta get. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about all the different jeans. The ones I would not recommend are definitely those Lee jeans, the floods that I was wearing, super, 
tough denim, not comfy at all, zero stretch, and they were floods. I mean, that was my bad, but they, they were all around a disaster. Another disaster was the Levi boyfriend jeans, the really low-waisted ones, super big on the waist and tight everywhere else. Pass, pass, pass. Those were awful for my body shape. I feel like those would only fit a very skinny mini gal, so not up my alley whatsoever. So pass on those ones, but we already know which ones took the cake. The wax jeans, y'all. These are just absolutely my favorite jeans. They never do me dirty. They are so perfect if you are a little bit more curvy or plus size. They're going to form to your body. And a lot of times we have issues with jeans, you know, fitting maybe our thighs and our booty, but not fitting our waist at all. Wax jeans does it so that it fits both your waist and your legs and booty. So I love wax jeans. They're so comfy, so affordable, and they do me no wrong. So like I mentioned, all of the jeans I tried on today will be linked in the description box along with a free trial of Amazon Prime. Also, make sure to go check out my Amazon storefront. For all of the links to my different hauls, you guys can shop that. I have a lot of really good items there. So I hope this video helped you guys out when you're jean shopping. I know it's a pain in the ass, but I think we found some really good steals on Amazon. So let me know if you guys have any questions but thanks again for watching and i'll catch you guys later bye